a human brain, has uh, about 80 billion neurons. And each neuron can make up to 10,000 connections with any other neurons. So this means that the number of connections or synapses in, in the human brain is more than the number of stars in a galaxy. In my lab, we're interested in understanding how brains develop. One question that we're very interested about is to understand how the connections between neurons are established during uh, development. And this is essential because the function of a brain relies on these connections being properly established. Not all neurons connect with each other. And the question is, why? Or in other words, what, what, what's the development program that sustains the, the, the organization of neurons in specific circuits making different connections with each other? As a brain is built, there are many things that are happening. Some genes are being transcribed, proteins are being produced, neurons are navigating the environment. All this has to be properly coordinated for development to unfold. And what in this simple science project we aim at characterizing is exactly how is this coordination happening when neurons establish a synapse. So here what you look at is the optic lobe. The structures in blue are the parts of the optic lobe which are neuropiles, so where neurons build connection with each other. And the neurons we study are the ones in red that are called T4s. You see them here and uh, they build their synapses here in this layer. And if I zoom in, you can see that in the part when they build synapses, we can now detect the connections they build, which are these uh, spots here that you see in green. Each one of these is a potential synapse. Nadia, can I use this brush yeah, of yeah, yours? Please, Cheers. Please, please. I need to select some flies here. So a human brain has 80 billion neurons. It's a very complex system. So we address these questions of brain development by studying a much simpler organism, but that faces the same challenges. And this is the fly brain, Drosophila melanogaster. So a fly brain has about 100,000 neurons. So you see how it greatly reduces in complexity. Yet, in its essence, the problem is the same. How do you build the brain? For the most part, we focus our studies on a neural circuitry that is devoted for motion detection. Some neurons detect motion to the left, some neurons detect to the right. And the reason why they do that, it's because of the precise connectivity that they establish with other neurons. And so we use this as a paradigm to understand how is it that during development, different neurons establish a connectivity that sustains their capacity, in this case, to detect motion. So many neurological diseases, they culminate at the synapse. So anything that we learn about how a synapse is built and maintained it's essential for us to, in a therapeutic setting, address those problematics. So we do our research in the fruit fly, but because there is a conservation of molecular and cellular mechanisms up to humans, everything that we learn will have an impact on how we can approach the same problematic in a therapeutic context. So when I got the Impulse Science Grant, uh, honestly, for the first minutes, or days, I just couldn't believe. I was really, uh, we, I and everyone in the team were beyond happy. The implications that it, it has for, uh, for, for the team are immense. The Impulse Science is a very uh, generous grant, among the most generous in Europe. So this means we are able to purchase equipment that is essential for our science, if otherwise we could not. And at the same time, it allows me to recruit more postdocs and, and PhD students and established a strong quorum of colleagues with the ideal conditions for them to thrive in their science and in their career goals. The Impulse Science is much more than just uh, funding a specific project. It's funding a vision and it's allowing us all together to build a momentum for the future.